Hello guys, my name is Abhinav. This is my Yamaha R15 V3 and I'm at Speed Monks in Gurgaon. Now, about a month ago, I showed you a video that my motorcycle was hitting about 16,000 RPM due to the new ECU that we've added to it. Uh, we've also added a new cam, we've uh, added a new filter, it's running a Daytona full system exhaust and I told you that this motorcycle requires a bit of tuning before we can run it. Now, we've hit a few niggles when it comes to tuning. Tuning is not a very simple process. It takes a bit of time and it takes a lot of patience. We have to run this motorcycle multiple times. We have um, also fiddled with the map that comes on it to um, tune it according to how I would want my motorcycle to be. So what is happening right now is we had a Kawahara racing coil that we had installed last time and an A-Racer spark plug. Now about two weeks ago, the spark plug went off. Um, so we, we put in a new spark plug and we also changed the racing coil back to the stock one. So yesterday when I came here to try the motorcycle out, it wasn't starting. Now we thought that the motorcycle had no fuel in it. But today, uh, we found out that the second spark plug that we had added has also gone bust. So what do we do now? We, I, I think what is happening now is um, that the fueling is a bit too rich right now. So we will keep working on it. So unfortunately, I will not be able to ride this motorcycle today and show it to you. But as I said, this is a process that takes a bit of time and it requires a lot of patience. While that happens, it's, it's not a video in which I will not show you anything. Um, I have something here. So, um, I ordered a new tail light for this motorcycle. This is something that I got from AliExpress. Um, it costs $50. This motorcycle tail light, what it does is it has integrated blinkers in it. So, it's one unit. It has the LED. Uh, it's an LED unit. It has the indicator is also integrated in it. So let me give you a close look of what it looks like. Um, so it's a, this is what the box looks like. It's by a brand called GMA. It says it's built in China. And let's just open it now. Um, the build quality of it seems okay, it's the plastic seems of um, a decent quality. I, I don't see anything here that I should be complaining about, apart from the fact that I think the price is a little steep, three and a half thousand rupees. But again, uh, since nothing else is available, since this is the only option we have. So, um, I guess we'll just have to put this now. Guys, this is Amit. You've seen him before in the videos. He is working on my motorcycle right now. So, we've taken the seat off. We will take this panel off. We had already taken off the screws before we started shooting so that it's convenient for you guys to watch. Let me, let me just get the camera in close and show you what he's doing because I think that's what matters more. To access the tail light, the relay of the tail light, we have to, and to change it, we have to open up the rear panels. And we also have to take this metal part off. Okay. 
So guys, this black one is the indicator relay, and this green one is the radiator fan relay. And that's the Jukan ECU. Yeah, we've just not had time to ride this motorcycle. ये किस चीज की क्लिप है? अच्छा ये टेल लाइट का क्लिप है। And it's off. अमित आप दोनों टेल लाइट साथ में पकड़ के दिखाएंगे कैसी हैं? इन दोनों की बिल्ड क्वालिटी में कुछ फर्क लग रहा है? ये हैवी लग रही है। अच्छा। क्वालिटी तो अच्छी है या सब कुछ क्वालिटी में कह नहीं सकते कि बेकार। ओके। सो ही सेज दैट दिस सीम्स अ बिट हैवी इन वेट दैन द स्टॉक वन। आई जस्ट लिफ्ट इट एंड यू नो होल्ड इट एंड या देयर इज अ बिट ऑफ वेट टू इट दैन द स्टॉक वन। एंड नाउ वी विल इंस्टॉल इट। It also is a clear lens. I'm sure you would be able to tell that by now. We are connecting the new relay. So we're not gonna cut the stock wires. What we are doing is, because I have KTM indicators on my motorcycle right now, Wherever these were joined, we're just going to replace them with the new ones, the new wires. So even though this, um, the stock relay is working just fine, we're still changing it because, you know, a new relay came with it. But for now, we don't really know if there is a need for it. Same thing, na? Same to nahi, ye wali jo yama ki ye sealed hai. Achha. Ye open nahi ho sakti. Ye open ho sakti. Achha. To kuch fayda hoga ya nahi hoga? Okay. Slow है। ये better है। हम्म। I think ये better है। बहुत स्लो है ना, दिस इज़ बेटर। हम्म। सो गाइस, वी आर नॉट गोना चेंज द रिले टू द वन व्हिच केम विद द न्यू लाइट। बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ दैट न्यू रिले, द एलईडी इंडिकेटर्स आर फ्लैशिंग एट अ वेरी स्लो रेट। सो वी आर गोना स्टिक विद स्टॉक, बिकॉज़ दिस इज़ व्हाट वी प्रेफर। अमित he says that compared to the previous version, the V2, you have to open up the fairing a lot more to access all these parts on this particular model. That, in my opinion, is a negative. Ek baar brake light dabaiye. Iski brake light mein utna farak nahi hai. Utni bright nahi hai. Hai na? क्या कर सकते हैं? कुछ नहीं हो सकता। ग्लास का भी फर्क हो जाता है ना इसमें। अच्छा। See this is what happens. We forgot to take these indicators off and we packed the motorcycle up. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's only so this down. But now we will have to open it again and do it again.
So we're going to show you how it functions. And that's it, guys. So uh, this is Amit. He has been working on my motorcycle along with Atul. Uh, without these two guys, obviously, this project would not have taken off. It wouldn't have reached this stage. So I'm definitely grateful to these guys. For now, this is Abhinav. This is my R15. And the build series continues. Thank you. <laughs>